problem one. First of all, we have a gas. It's contained in a vertical frictionless piston cylinder device. It means when I say we have a frictionless piston, it means this piston can move up and down without any friction and resistance uh, with the internal wall of the cylinder. Inside the uh, cylinder, we have a quantity of gas with a pressure P, uh, where we have a piston of uh, a mass M of the piston equals to four kilogram with a cross-sectional area A equals to 35 centimeter square. Okay, you have to put it in meter square equals to 35 times 10 power minus four meter square. We have a compressed spring above the piston exerts a force of 60 Newton on the piston. So we have a spring, um, we have a compressed spring will push down the piston with a force equals to 60 Newton. So we can say here, this piston will push down, uh, this uh, spring will push down the piston with FR or FS equals to 60 Newton. Okay, we have the atmospheric pressure PO or PATM equals to 95 kilopascal. Uh, I want to determine the pressure inside the cylinder. I want to calculate the pressure of the gas inside the cylinder. You know, uh, here I want to calculate P at a static state. At the end of the configuration, we get a static state. Uh, we have a uh, piston at equilibrium. The total force exerted on the piston equals to zero. Okay. Uh, so uh, we can say uh, at equilibrium, Uh, the summation of F applied on the piston equals to MA equals to O. Okay, because uh, we have an equilibrium state. Okay, uh, I want to calculate P. Uh, I, we can start by F. You know, F equals to P times S. Okay. We can say P equals to F divided by S or A and F equals to P times A. What is the summation of F applied on the piston? First of all, we have the piston here. Uh, we have the weight. We can say weight of the piston. Uh, weight of the piston equals to M times G we can approximate G equals to 9.8 or 10. So we have M of the piston times G equals about 40 meter per second square. Uh, excuse me, Newton. 40 Newton. Okay, uh, we have the force applied by P0, we can say F0. We have the force applied by the spring equals to Fs. And we have the force applied by the internal gas up. We have F of the gas. Okay, uh, now we can say the summation will be F0 plus Fs plus 
the weight plus Fg of the gas equals to O. We can take the positive direction upward. So we have Fg is positive minus Fo minus Fs minus the weight equals to O. So we can say Fg equals to Fo Fs and the weight. Uh, now I want to substitute the value of F in function of P. So we can say Fg equals to P uh, P of the gas times S times A, okay, equals to FO. Uh, we have PO times A, FS equals to F uh, equals to 60 Newton, and we have the weight equals to 40. Okay, I want to calculate P, which is equal to P0 95 times 10 power 3. Pascal times A, 75 times 10 minus 4 plus 100 divided by A, 75 times 10 minus 4. The answer will be in Pascal, 123 times 10 power 3 Pascal. This is the force exerted by the gas inside the cylinder upward on the piston. Okay.